Hello everyone, I'm here today to talk to you about all the books that I read in March. Um, I have read quite a few books, but um, so some of them were for the Booktop Prize and I have my Booktop Prize um, rankings uh, video up, so I will put that in. I haven't read the six books in, in March, but I have read some of them in March, so that's that. And I have also been reading a lot of the international booker long-listed books and I have reviews for those oh, I'm making reviews for all of the books that I read for the international booker so I will also put links to all of those uh, and the books that I read for the international booker are Elena Knows by Claudia Pinheiro which I really really enjoyed I I was not expecting that so much it's a very short book um, and this uh, author is normally known for her crime um, books and this one has a little bit of that plotty element uh, but it's a lot more nuanced than that it's about a mother that has um, Parkinson and she um, her daughter was found dead in a church and everyone knows everyone says it's a suicide uh, but the mother has other opinions so she is going out there finding the truth and we see the um, the limitations that the disability gives her and also the um, it, it has a lot of discussions about motherhood and about um, what being a mother means and also about grief and I really enjoy those those discussions so I really recommend that one I also read After the Sun uh, by Jonas Eika which is a short story collection um, it has five four or five stories um, and they're very weird <laughs> uh, very very weird um, and kind of disturbing um, and I don't normally enjoy short stories and I don't particularly enjoy this I didn't think the weird worked for me I know that some people enjoy the weird but that's not me so I also read Love in the Big City by Sang Jong Park um, and this one is all, another of the readable ones and this one is about a gay man in Seoul um, and he each part of the book follows kind of a different relationship in his life and some of them are romantic and some of them are not and we kind of see him struggling with life um, but it has a very warm and positive feeling about it and also um, it's not just a fun book like the the way that the the relationships are described are quite um, heartwarming at times but also hard at times and it, it does show the nuances of relationships that it's never all good or all bad um, and it has some of those complications uh, projected in the book um, I also read Paradise by Fernando Melchor which is another very short book about um, two teenagers in Mexico that are um, stuck in, his, in their lives um, because of poverty because of um, yeah one of them is overweight and in, he has a lot of issues with that and um, their sexual um, images and desires and it is a very violent book that just puts all of that together and um, yeah it's very violent and very disturbing at points uh, but we could not expect anything else from Fernando Melchor. Um, I yeah I liked it but um, I don't think her style is my favorite. I appreciate what she's doing but it's just not something that I particularly enjoy to read. And then the last one I read for the International Booker is the book of the books of Jacob by Olga Tokarczuk um, which is um, a chunker um, and it's about um, 18th century Eastern Europe so it's mostly Poland but it also goes into Turkey and Greece and um, I think Ukraine as well uh, so yeah like all that area um, and it follows um, an actual historical religious reader, religious leader called uh, Jacob Frank who was preaching for 
this branch of Judaism that has a lot of elements from Christianity. And he was kind of an outcast and we see his journey and the journey of his followers throughout his life. Um, and I found it really interesting, really engaging, really sarcastic. I'm normally not one for religious books, but uh, this one has a Life of Brian touch on, on it that I really enjoyed. And there was another two books that I started from the International Booker and I DNF'd. Um, until further notice, I guess I will finish them if they're in the shortlist, but if they're not, I'm not going to bother. And those are The, the Book of Mother by Violin Hoisman. I don't know if I'm pr pronouncing that correctly. And Course Bunny by Bora Chang. So The Book of Mother is basically portraying the relationship, uh, mother-daughter relationship um, with a mother that is um, has a lot of mental health issues and also like drug addiction and stuff like that. Um, and I found it really rambly um, and really unfocused. Um, and even though the language was quite beautiful, I, I was just bored by the end because it went into so many random thoughts that I, I was just not interested in. Um, I heard that it gets better after the first part. I only read the... it's divided in three parts and I only read the first one. I heard it gets better after that, but I just didn't have the patience to do that. So if it, if it makes a short list, I will read it, but if not, I'm not interested. And the other one is Course Bunny, which is a collection of short stories and I read the first story which was about this poop monster that comes out of a bathroom. Um, yeah, I was just not... I was just not vibing with this. This was like at least the first story. I don't know how the other ones are but the first story was just disgusting without really saying much about anything and it was like it was also kind of predictable to me. People say that it's shocking and I mean the first time you read about the poop monster is like what? But then after that it's, it's quite predictable what happens afterwards so I was just like I'm not interested in reading the rest of this. I'm already not into short stories. I don't need these kind of short stories. So again, I will probably read it if it makes a short list, but if it doesn't, I'm not interested. I'm, I'm not going to do that to myself. These are the ones that I read for the International Booker, um, but I read a few books more. So the first one is Home Fire by Camilla Shamsi, and I read that one for my book club. And that one is um, based on a... Um, Greek myth and um, I really enjoyed that one. I mean it has its flaws and it's not one of my favorite books but um, I enjoyed the perspective that it gives. It's about a family um, and one of the, the members of the family joins ISIS and we see that from several perspectives and how it sort of happened um, and I enjoyed that one. Uh, the other one is uh, Of Women and Cells by Gabriela Garcia and that one is about um, immigrants from um, from both El Salvador and Cuba into the US and how they are treated differently and how they are treated differently um, and yeah I, I think it was okay um, I don't have strong feelings about it um, but yeah it was in one of the I think book to prize list so I just read it and it was okay and then the last one I read is Somebody Loves You by Mona Archie which was in a couple of um, prize long lists as well I think it was in the um, prize um, Republic of Consciousness prize and also in the um, Jalak prize um, short long list and yeah it was okay I'm, I didn't yell with the writing style so much um, but it was it was fine. I'm I didn't have a problem with it. It's another one of those that also deals with mental illness and mothers and daughters relationships. Um, and yeah, as I said, like I have read better um, representations of that, and I have read worse. So yeah, it's it's a middle of the road one for me. Um, so yeah, those are all the books that I read this month. Um, let me know if you have read any of them, what you thought, if you are also interested in the International Booker Prize. And until next video, bye!